Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Kendrick is a little dude. He was relevant in the neighborhood. Wow. He, I found out from Shorty Bang, he was rapping with them, Young Piranha. All of these, him, Problem, all of these dudes was like straight little gang members. What about, y, what what about YG? YG was not in the mix of that? Well, YG is actually from uh, Paramount. Okay. His aunt stayed in uh, treetops, but okay. see, these people need labels. Okay. Not, not taking nothing away from YG, you know, but he didn't go to our schools. Okay. He didn't hang in our neighborhoods. He just repped it. Kind of like, you know. Yeah, on the music. Yeah. But then they ain't giving back. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to get somebody some guns and shit, you ain't helping your neighborhood. Yeah. All this... All these dudes is claiming Pyru, uh, Chris Brown, all of these other dudes that using the label and not one studio for people to go do rap at, but you'll spend $25,000 in a strip club. I mean, we getting used, not used, misused. Wow. How you use, you can't use a cracker's name and they don't get paid for it, huh? So how you use Pyru? How do you use Compton? You ain't been there. Nigga, check in. Let me ask you this. So with everything that you've seen, you, you're 71? Yeah. And you've seen this whole thing evolve from to what it is today. Um, do you are, you, are you okay with where it's at? Or do you feel like it should be, we should be in a better state? Or as far as the gang violence and the stuff that happened with the guys who are still out there today active? And you ask me, could you repeat that? I'm just question? saying, do you, how, how do you feel about where it is today? I feel, I feel miserably sad that in 50 years of being active, that we have nothing to show for it. We didn't went backwards. Wow. When it was just pyros and everybody knew where they buried the dog in the backyard, and now we got all these people coming from other places claiming, and you have nothing, that's a business that failed, huh? Wow, yeah. So for me to see these youngsters claiming something, and we got a battle right now with Fruit Town and Treetops. Pyrus will kill another Pyru before they'll kill a Crip. Wow. You can't even go to a function and these two get together and this, what happened, most of these dudes wasn't even born when this, this, this uh, mis, mishap happened. But they repping something because he said it. Because she said, well, we, ain't, we don't fuck with them. We don't do this. Like, why? They right across the street from each other. You got family members that's related. We all related some kind wow. of way. You know Crazy. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, uh, uh, it's just different from what we do in the South, of course. But just to see that, my cousins, they, they're definitely, I've, I've taken her over there in, in, off Crenshaw. You remember I took your Uncle mm -hmm. James house? Been there all their life. In 70 years. My Uncle James used to have Fish and, fish and chip or whatever down in, in, in all the restaurants. He had a bunch of them. And Sears uh, Shoe Repair downtown. And um, basically, man, I seen it. And I would see the way they were when they would come, you know, to Texas. And it was just a different different mindset on life. You know what I mean? Right. A little bit faster, of course, because country laid back. But still, you know, because you got killings everywhere. But it's just the strategic way it's done up there versus the way it's done here. But see, you got to understand, Texas is just Texas. You see, y'all in Texas. And y'all do Texas stuff. Correct. California is a transit state. Everybody can't make it in Texas. They try to come to California to do better. And if they come to Hollywood, they come in and get turned out, and now they bitter, but they can't come back home. Huh? Yeah. So they bring their culture and bring their misery to our state. You, you feel what I'm saying? I get it. And, and so you got all of these people that come from all over the world, all over from Louisiana, Mississippi, that came there, that want to be rappers, want to be movie stars, go downtown and get robbed, took all their money. They too embarrassed to ask their mama, can you send for me? And they live on the street. All you have freak accidents like Jamie Foxx who come and put a staple who out of Tiro, Texas, who get that respect and put that work in to where he's recognized in California right now. Oh yeah, the you know movie what I'm stars, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but he ain't been to Compton still. He don't come to Compton? No, Jamie ain't been to Compton. Uh, I know, I don't know the, the demographics like that. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. <laughs> so when you, when you look at it though, and then now vice versa, just to stand up for the fact that Texas is where our neighbors just moved from California for a better, you know, because of the finances and the, way, the and, cost and, of and living uh, here. Okay, and they're runaways. 
Is that what they, y'all call it? They, they run, if you can't make it in Cali, you can't make it nowhere. Well, I'm coming here. This is cheaper. Well, the same two dollars that you make in here, the twenty dollars you make in there, but you're paying four thousand dollars a month for rent. Here, it's eight hundred dollars a month. So if you couldn't manage that money that you was making paying the four thousand dollars, eventually, because now here it is again, a lot of people come to Texas, and a lot of people come back to Cali. Mm, yeah, I, I would. I would say. I can't say the the transition. I don't. I don't know the people as far as that. Then yeah, went back. I mean, but I, know, the ones that I'm dealing with now that are here was actually had a few over last night. I, matter, matter of fact, I got one of my, my crime partner. He down one, here. Yeah, he he. You know, we started selling PCP in Texas, in Houston, and we went to prison. Went to Huntsville, and he's in Arlington right now. Got a big old pretty house. You know, that would been two million dollars in California. Correct. correct. And he's a truck driver, and he drives, but he liked. This laid back issue. Yeah, correct. You, you dig what I'm saying? I'm Cali. My, my uncle, my uncle went up there and he did pretty good. So it's just different strokes for different folks. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.